Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And guys, we are in the playoffs here in the All Madden second string division, seven and two in the regular season. Looking forward to try and make a run at the Super Bowl here this season. So let's get things started here on offense. Very first play of the game. We're gonna try and get things done here on the ground. Got decent blocking here, but what the hell was that? Take a look at this BS again. Oh my goodness, we get the block and his D end somehow runs over my left tackle and tackles me from behind. Okay, I guess it's going to be one of those games. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you kidding me? But we're going to keep things on the ground here with boss Barry Sanders. Yes, this is still the boss edition of Barry Sanders. That's when I had him. So this game's a week and a half or two weeks old, something like that. Trying to bring you guys in and keep you updated as much as I can here. But uh, it's a little bit difficult considering my schedule right now. So I'm a little bit behind on these. But still want to bring them to you guys so that you can get kind of an idea of what happened in this season for me. So you saw that conversion there to Kevin White. That was a nice pass. And right here, boom, Marshawn Lynch is going to make him pay out of the backfield backup running back is ultimate legend Marshawn Lynch still so he has a good reception there and then a couple of plays later we are going to hit Calvin Johnson in the end zone on that slot fade play and he is going to score the touchdown so on defense now get the sack on first down as he tried to scramble out make a nice play there on second down and check this play out here on third down he's gonna throw to his running back in the middle of him blocking he's gonna come off of it it bounces off his head and then he makes the catch oh my goodness brings up a fourth down and he makes the conversion here are you freaking kidding me like, every possible bad thing is happening to me right now on this game. And take a look at this as he throws it directly at Jack Ham. And Ham doesn't go for the interception for some reason. My goodness, dude. Are you serious right now? Nice play there by my opponent. Got to give him credit there on that second down for that completion. And he's going to throw another one here. Another nice pass. No complaints on those plays at all. Big plays by him. Otto Graham scrambling out to his right pretty much every play. He almost threw a pick there, I got to tell you. That was that was very, very close, but it is a four-yard completion. And then he's going to go back to that comeback route. I thought he got into the end zone there, but he didn't. Next play, though, he is going to get in with Otto Graham on the QB sneak. Then I ended up, for some reason, I went off sides or something on the uh, extra point, which allowed him to go for two here. And we are going to make the play in the backfield. That's Ronnie Lott coming off the edge, making a huge stop. So we are going to keep the lead despite the fact that we went off sides there on, uh, on the extra point. So it ended up being a good thing. I don't know why he decided to go for two, but he did. And so we're in good position here with the ball, driving the ball down his throat again here with Barry Sanders with a nice play there. And then a beautiful pass there to Mike Ditka for a big pickup. Couple of plays later, it's second and 11 and we've got the face catch, but Calvin drops it. No, no. Third and 11 here. We don't have anybody really open and he is going to make the play in the backfield. Thankfully, we didn't get sacked, which kept us in field goal range. So we move up by three more. So it is now 10 to six here and take a look at this play. He goes to the comeback route. Ronnie Lott lays the hammer, but he comes up with it. Very, very lucky. I could have been in scoring position had he not come up with that one. So big play and Eric Weddle is going to swat one away here. And that is going to be setting up now the final play of the first half. And he is going to bomb it here all the way down the field. We've got tons of guys here. Somehow he comes up with it. Unbelievable. This game with the streaks is just so ridiculous. The Hail Marys are just almost unstoppable. Thankfully, he couldn't really do anything with it because the time had expired. So he's going to have the ball now in the second half. And he is going to throw one up here again into coverage. And he comes up with it again. In coverage with contact, the one handed catch. Unfreaking real, man. That is just ridiculous. So he's in scoring position again here, and he is going to make a nice pass here. That was pretty close to being intercepted, I have to say, but Chris Harris just couldn't come up with it, so he is going to make the catch. Another nice pass here. Again, no complaints on these types of passes. He's making precision throws and really uh, just making the right play. But right there, Ronnie Lott is going to come up with the interception. A clutch, clutch pick there at the three-yard line. So we do get the ball back. Now, my opponent, 
on defense is going to commit on the run there to the left. And I'm starting to notice that he's really starting to try and, you know, stack the box on first down. So maybe we need to try and go deep here when we're kind of in like another first down situation later in the game. Now, right here, I have no words for how bad of a throw that was. That was actually to Triangle. If you go back and watch that play again, he threw that nowhere near him. Tony Romo just with a horrible throw there for some reason. I don't know what the deal was. But Patrick Peterson is going to come up with an interception of his own. Kind of coming out of the screen there. He uh, was covering another guy. But the pass was deep enough that he was able to recover and make a beautiful play on it. That one-handed pick. I love that animation. But he deserved it. I mean, he could have caught it with two hands if he really wanted to. He just had to show off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So we're back on offense here. Second and 10. Again, we're going to try and throw the ball here out of the backfield this time to Barry Sanders he nearly broke that thing but he did make a first down so we're in a good situation here getting closer to midfield and we're going to throw this one up to Mike Ditka not a good throw into coverage Ugh, he got too much under it I don't know what the deal is man like Ditka was open there he just needed to throw it not quite so much air under it I guess I don't know what to say but he is going to throw an interception there. So my opponent's back on offense here. Third and 10 now. And he's going to throw a beautiful pass there. Man, it's so frustrating. Like when you feel like you make the plays on first and second down. And then your opponent just clutches up on third or fourth down in this game. Happens so often. Third and 18 here. And we get another sack. So fourth and 24. Can we make the stop? Two minutes left in this game. We've got guys back here. In coverage, Patrick Peterson cannot make the play in coverage. The streaks kill me again. Unfreaking real, dude. Unbelievable. Fourth and 24 comes up with that another one-handed pick in coverage. So we've got about two minutes left. And take a look at this first play. My offensive line completely did not even block the defensive tackle. He rushed three. I'm so sick of these broken things in this game, man. It's just ridiculous. There, he at least we at least kind of blocked him. He still got the sack because I just held on to it for too long, unfortunately. Uh, sets up a third and 27 now. And we are going to pick up the majority of it, setting up a fourth and three. This is the game right here. And he brings the heat. And unfortunately, we cannot make the play. Couldn't get the pass off in time. So my opponent gets the ball back. And he is going to kick a field goal here as time expires to rub it in just a little bit. Final score, 16 to 10. We do not walk away with the win. I just feel like there were just so many BS things that happened against me in this game, whether it was dropped picks or whether it was just horrible throws by my quarterback. And you can argue that it was bad decision making too. I know I didn't make the best decision on a couple of those passes, but seriously, man, when it when it comes down to it, really what the big plays were here were the deep passes into coverage that he comes up with like that. I mean, it's just... You can't do anything about it. That's Madden this year. I, Madden 16 cannot come soon enough. I hope that stuff isn't in the game. But you just never know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'll be bringing you guys a new season soon. So I will talk to you guys then. Thank you.